The waterfall is a linear model. It defines development steps or phases. You start executing one step, complete it, and then start the next one. This approach gives us a steady downward order, hence the name waterfall. The development process flows in cascades. Each development phase requires the previous one to be completed. Let's talk a bit about these phases. First, we collect and analyze the requirements. The expected functionality of the future application must be clarified with the stakeholders. All the details must be documented thoroughly. The very first phase is probably the most important one. When done right, the waterfall model will produce the expected outcome. After collecting and analyzing the requirements, we can proceed to the next phase. Here's where we define the overall design of our software. Defining the architecture is like creating the blueprint for a building. Thus, the design should be as clear and detailed as possible. The team should be able to implement the product based on this plan. We should address questions like What packages or components will form our system? What are the fundamental types of each component? How do these types interact with each other to achieve the required functionality? Is our software secure? How about performance? How does our software respond to errors? How do we handle edge cases? Should we extend our system in the future? What third-party components do we use? And the list can grow or shrink depending on the requirements we defined in the previous phase. The implementation comes next. The software development phase is usually divided into smaller units. Each unit is then implemented and tested by developers. Once the development phase is completed, the product undergoes the verification phase. During this step, the software is evaluated based on predefined criteria. We must check whether the product provides the functionality we agreed on. Tests are executed to ensure that the software works as expected. We test for functional, performance, security, and usability issues. Detected problems are recorded and fixed. The process goes on until all severe bugs are fixed. The verification phase may also bring to surface deeper bugs and critical issues that may affect the planned release. Now, when the testing phase completes and the given version is delivered, the software enters the maintenance phase. By definition, the maintenance phase is about fixing smaller bugs. But more often than not, it may also include functional enhancements. The client may come up with new requirements that involve substantial changes. You may feel tempted to squeeze in just one more patch in the maintenance phase. This is usually a bad idea. Instead, you should set up a new waterfall project and repeat all the steps. The waterfall model is used for life control, medical, and military systems. This model requires us to clarify all the requirements and create a detailed plan upfront. The waterfall is a perfect choice if all the requirements are precisely defined and won't change over time. Now, the waterfall has received some criticism for its inability to respond to changes. Due to its linear structure, new requirements can be considered at later phases of the development process. If the client changes their mind frequently, or our design misses essential aspects, we're going to hit problems during development or testing. In such cases, we should follow a different approach.